Hey guys, um, I decided to do um, a collective, well, not collective haul video, but a haul of a collection of things that I got today. Um, went to the mall as well as Target, and let's start with Target. So Target is known for e.l.f. products, and I'm sure all of you know about that. Inexpensive um, cosmetic stuff, skincare things. Um, one thing that I got was the e.l.f. Um, tinted moisturizer in SPF 20 um, in the color Nude. Um, I tried it a little bit today. It's all right. It's a, it's not as greasy, but it doesn't. I mean, nobody wants a greasy face. It's not greasy, which is great, but the coverage is okay. I don't know um, if it's because I use my hands, because I usually use a stippling brush for um, for applying tinted moisturizer, but um, I didn't have you know the brush with me, so I used my hands. So I would rate this maybe a three out of five so far. I don't know. Um, another thing that I got was. The setting spray from e.l.f. Um, currently I use the um, All Nighter by Urban Decay and that stuff's expensive, it's like $30. But it works. Um, I tried this today, um, the, <laughs> and it's still in this packaging, but you know, you need the illusion that it's that you just got it. But I tried it earlier today and the only rant that I have about it, um, I think that my you know, my moisturizer, my tinted moisturizer stayed up pretty well. But the mist is not fine, as in it's pretty, like, it feels like you're getting raindrops on your face rather than, like, you know, eff an effortless mist that doesn't screw up your, your face. But that's my only um, rant about this product. Um, the last thing that I got was the Aveeno SPF 70 Face Moisturizer for, um, for you know, to put SPF in your face, sunscreen to protect against the UV rays, and um, yeah, I don't want premature aging, I don't want premature wrinkles on my face, so that's what this is for. Um, my current moisturizer has SPF 20, but I was told that throughout the day that does not last, which, you know, duh, as with most things, but uh, <laughs> hopefully this will um, attribute to a youthful face that'll last longer than it should. Did that makes sense? I don't know. Um, so that's that. And then I also went to Nordstrom. Um, I purchased not one, but two Puma shoes. They were on sale for $25 each. Um, I got these, like, they're very lightweight. I got one in brown and then another in blue. I'm not really feeling the white um, shoestrings, shoelaces. Why did I say shoestrings? It's so better. But they're $25 each. They have this kind of fraying detail right on the top, which I think is pretty cute. If you wear them with nice um, Bermuda shorts or, you know, some type of shorts. Very summery. Um, very lightweight. Not chunky. That's what you need during the summer because you're not trying to look like a hot-ass mess. With chunky shoes. Um, another thing that I got from Nordstrom, the that's from Nordstrom, um, as well as these, is... Um, I talked to the lady from the DDF skincare line. Um, DDF is an acronym short for um, Doctor's Dermatologic Formula, and she claimed that it's you know one of the best skincare lines for those who have acne-prone skin, which I have. Um, I bought two items. Um, I bought this maybe like a week ago, so I've tried it. Um, it's the blemish. Blah, blah, blah. Blemish Foaming Cleanser with uh, 1.8 salicylic acid. Um, supposed to, you know, prevent and cure your acne, your cystic acne. Um, as well as um, this thing, which is a sulfur therapeutic mask. Um, I haven't tried this at all yet because I'm scared to put something harsh in my face. But I was told that the sulfur is supposed to heal, to promote healing in your face with acne and all that great stuff. So I got these two dots. These two, this was like $32 and this was $30. But the thing that I love about this um, purchase from Nordstrom is the gift with purchases. That stuff is amazing. I love gift with purchases. Um, and I got a, a bunch of stuff. Um, I think more than I should have, but the I talked to the lady for about 45 minutes because she did the facial on my face and all this stuff, but she gave me not one, not two, but three acne control um, treatment. Um, medication that, wow, that you put on your face. Um, haven't tried it yet. 
as I am using other products that the dermatologist uh, prescribed me. And another thing that she got me was, the for the gift of purchase, is the Wrinkle Resist um, Pore Minimizer. Haven't used it yet. Actually, no, I take that back. I did use it once. It smells good. It smells sweet. So um, that's pretty good. I haven't used this, which is the Eye Concentrate. It claims to instantly firm for a lifted look, reduces the... Um, the appearance of puffiness and wrinkles. Um, haven't used it yet as I'm using a different um, um, under eye thing for my for my eye. That made total sense. But um, I did get this ultra light oil free moisturizing dew. Not moisturize not moisturizer, it's a moisturizing dew. Um, the stuff's pretty good. I've used it on my face. Um, haven't broken out at all, which is a great sign of me loving a product and continuing, you know, to purchase it again. And the last thing that I got is the Laura Mercier um, Tinted Moisturizer in Sand, which is, and this is this type is the oil-free one. You can tell when it's the red, per, um, red packaging. This stuff is my holy grail item. Like, seriously, it's a mo tinted moisturizer that provides great coverage for those who you know, have acne scars like I do, and all that great stuff. Um, it's oil-free, which is great for my face, so um, this is great. And I've been using this for a year now, over a year, and I love it. That's all I can say. This stuff's expensive. It's $42, and I normally don't spend that much on particular items, but um, I have seen the light, and everybody who has raved about this on YouTube, I agree with them 100% because this stuff is amazing. Nordstrom. And then, um, to move on, I, uh, went to Forever 21, um, in this, so, okay, I went to the Forever 21 in, um, like, maybe 20, 30 miles from my house at this place called the Tacoma Mall. Um, apparently this Forever 21 is the fourth largest in the nation, or I guess the world, because, yeah. But anyways, this place is huge. I have never been to, okay, I take that back, I've been to the San Francisco one, but this place is really big. I got, um... For, for you ladies that are in Tacoma, if you go to the second floor of the Forever 21, I swear, maybe like 80% of the second floor, which is like really big, is clearance sale items. And my cousin bought like 10 items, and she left with really good items, but it was $18. And I left with like four items for $54. Um, so it pays to be a girl. Anyways... Forever 21, that's backwards, if I don't change it later on, but I got a few basic stuff. Um, this gray um, v-neck t-shirt. Um, it has these little speckles on it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's not just, you know, um, an opaque um, gray color. It has um, little speckles, if you can see. It was $10.90, and it felt good on the material, you know, pretty standard. I also got the um, green color that's the same type of shirt with the same type of speckles. Um, I think, I, I don't know, it, I like it. Um, another thing that I got was um, another, I don't know if I'm just a v-neck whore right now, but um, another v-neck, but this one is red with um, stripes, <laughs> stripes that are a little thicker and thinner, but this was twelve dollars, twelve ninety, so thirteen dollars. Um, the material feels great. It's really soft. It's kind of thin, but what can you expect? It's Forever Twenty One. Um, and then the one thing that was uh, I got on sale was this fifteen dollar hoodie. It's gray. Um, it has little stripes on it. Well, I don't know if that's just yeah, but anyways. I tried it on. It's very comfortable. I would wear it to work on one of those days where I'm just like, whatever, I don't give a care about it. In the meetings, I just want to look comfortable. Um, so that's my Forever 21. And then afterwards, I went to H&M. Ah! Got two items there. Um, one item was on sale, which, you know, I always love. And then there's another item that's just regular price. But um, I'll start with the sale item. I got these, um, this pair of pants. Um, it was $15. Um, yeah, it's just the slim fitting pants. Um, it was 
normally $30, but I don't know why it was on clearance, which, whatever, it's on clearance and I got it, so, um, I tried it on, it fits pretty well, it's black, but it, it kind of has this, like, kind of weird texture to it, genie, kind of tie dye but not, not super tie dye that you wouldn't wear it, but tie dye that it's like, well, it's kind of interesting, it has a nice texture, and you'll, you can pair it with a nice solid t-shirt or something, um, and I, and I do love the, the shape of the slim fitting pants from H&M, but, the one thing that pisses me off is that the quality has gone down the past two years. So this, aside from this, this is this is pretty thick and and um, you know has a good texture to it. But before I had these black slim fitting pants and they were they were pretty good material, you know, thick. And then like last year they changed the material on me and now it's this thin piece of cloth and they're charging a little bit more. And I don't I don't get it. But I'm not a big fan of the current slim fitting pants that are the lightweight material but I made an exception because this was $15 and this was thick and I purchased it because of those reasons deals and then I got you know pretty standard um, a long sleeve um, white shirt it kind of has the long Johnny feel I don't know if, uh, the thermal feel but it's pretty soft um, I, I, I usually wear a small but I bought a medium in this case because the, this type of material likes to, to shrink on me, and I look ridiculous if I wear a small and then it shrinks. And I look, nobody can take me seriously. But um, this was $14.99. Pretty good deal, I would say. And then last but not least, I went to Sephora. Um, so I went to IMATS the other week, the International Makeup Trade Show, and I... Stood in line at the Makeup Forever um, counter for like two hours, and then I got the the incorrect shade of the Duo Matte Powder. Um, I thought I was so. Let me take the back. They didn't have any of the 207 left, and I that's what I believed I am. So they didn't have any 207s left. They only had the 209 and the 205. I thought the 205 would be a little bit too light for me. No, the 209 was a little too bit too dark for me. I looked ridiculous. I looked like I had a tan and I don't think I look good with tans. So I went back and um, I got the, I tried um, to color match between 205 and 207 and I am a 205. And I really like the coverage of this um, powder. I mean, once you blend it, it looks fine. You don't look ridiculous. But, and I've said ridiculous so many times in this video, but whatever. Um, so yeah. Um, this was ridiculously, again, $32, not, not inexpensive at all, but if you, you know, try something and you like it, you'd pay for, pay a little bit more for something that you love, and this is one of those things. Um, yeah, so, um, that's my haul, uh, rate, comment, subscribe, um, all that stuff like uh, if you want more videos ask me um, but yeah uh, have a good day bye Rah.